Uh, first, uh, we have to set up uh, RF2 exporter so we can export our meshes to the game and check out the end result in the track viewer. Um, I assume that um, you people who use this 3ds Max are already copied exported files to the 3ds Max. If you have not and not sure how to do it, uh, just uh, check out the ISI forums for, for Im information about it. It's very very simple thing to do. Uh, you just need to copy few files to the correct folder inside the 3ds Max installation, and that's uh, pretty much what you have to do. Okay, so let's start uh, configuring exporter for our sandbox track. Uh, let's go to the hammer tab. Click more button button. And if you have uh, installed uh, the exporter files correctly, you can file find a GMT converter there. So let's select it and hit OK. And this is actually the exporter, what we have here. And uh, first thing what we need to do with the, when configuring exporter is to set up the folder where, where we will export the meshes from the 3ds Max. So let's click this folder button right next to the mesh line. And let's browse ourselves to the modem and locations. And here are here is our sandbox folder. What's we what we just made. And if you remember, we have all track related files in the assets folder. And we made this GMT folder, what's where we want to all the meshes being ex exported. So let's select that. Okay, that's done. Next thing, what we need to do is uh, let's go a little bit. No, we don't need the instance rollout yet. Actually, not the reflections. Scene file output over here. And now, first, we have to define our current uh, scene file. So, again, we click the button. And actually, let's see. We can are uh, now in the mod dev locations folder. And here we should find our sandbox and our layout folder and this is actually the scene file what we copied earlier over here so let's select it and save okay now the export knows when we are gen generating new scene file it will use it it will overwrite this file So that is pretty much what we need to do with that. Next thing, what we want to do to set up the viewport. It's located over here. What this means, this is a uh, means near. So this is a near plane. Uh, this actually uh, means the means that uh, this is the shortest distance from viewpoint which will be rendered. So it's a half meter in front of you. And after that, everything will be rendered uh, until the far plane is. In this case, it's in the 500 meters, but uh, let's extend it a little bit. So now it will render every, everything to the 1500 meters. 
And uh, next one is the width of the viewport and the height of the viewport. Let's keep them in the 1.0, so it uses the screen resolution what you have set up in the in the game UE and uh, of course in the Windows too. And then we want to add re rear view also, so we can see something in the mirrors. So let's activate that, and I think these parameters are good enough for mirror view. So let's keep it there. Next one, what we need to do, we need to define the root path. Uh, root path is actually the locations folder uh, where all the tracks are located. So we have to define where it is. So in this case, we click, click the folder button again and browse ourselves to the mod dev and locations. And that it's all what the exporter needs to know about that. Then next one is the very important step. We have to define the search paths. So when the game starts loading uh, track files, uh, it uh, needs it need to be known where to look look for the track files. So we have to set up few parts over here. So let active let's activate it and start browsing our parts. So first. We need to find our main folder, which is sandbox in this case. So that's our first path. Then we need a few more. We need our layout folder. And then We need to tell the exporter where to find our GMTs, anims, and textures. So let's let's select anims. And next path is GMT. And the last path is maps. Okay. Now we have configured the exporter. So let's make a quick recap what we have just done. We load it to exporter under the hammer tab. We defined our mess folder, which is that uh, assets uh, dash GMT, which we made earlier. We defined our current scene file. This is the choice will change file, which we copied earlier and rename it. So it's defined there. We set up our viewports, near plane, far plane, and track uh, screen height and height and width. We added review. We told uh, the exporter the root path and define the search path. So now the exporter is uh, configured. So let's draw a plane there and let's save our scene. locations, sandbox, assets, and here are the scene folder. So let's give this test piece, okay? And now it's saved. 
And when we save this uh, scene file, all the exporter settings are also saved in the max file. So when we reload our file again later, all the exporter settings are there. So you have to configure the exporter only once.